In the book, Alice in Wonderland, Alice asks the Cheshire cat when she's at a fork in the road, which road she should take. The cat responds with, where do you want to go? And Alice says, I don't know. The Cheshire cat responds with, well, then it doesn't much matter. This is an excerpt from Alice in Wonderland, which was shared in the book written by authors Dan Sullivan and Benjamin Hardy, talking about the value and the importance of goal setting, which is what today's minisode is all about. I promise that goal setting does not have to be scary. It does not have to feel too intense. It does not have to create any feelings of fear for you. And if that's the case, it makes a lot of sense that you have avoided it. I know how common it is to jump into having your weight loss plan of the year to lose the weight you want. However, one of the key essential first steps that we are often skipping right over is proper goal setting. Now, there are three really common reasons that I have found with my own personal experience and what I see with my clients that you might not have done this. The first reason that I have found in my experience and what I've seen with my clients is you didn't know the value of setting a specific goal that was measurable. Maybe you thought you could just wing it or you thought that just having a, a goal of I want to get healthy this year and I want to lose weight was enough for you. When we don't set clear and specific goals, when you try to wing this step of the process or bypass it altogether, you will create a lot of confusion in the moment. You won't know the exact strategy that you need to actually hit your goal because you don't really have one. And at the end of the week, you won't know whether what you did even worked. You might have lost half a pound or a pound that week and you're like, did we hit our goal? Was this good? Is this not good? That level of confusion is what will then eventually drive complacency where you'll stop taking needle moving action. The second reason that I have found, which is a common obstacle for so many of us, I know that it was for me, is you might have declared a goal, you might have written a goal down for the year or for the week or for the month, but you didn't actually take the next step, which was committing to it. The biggest reason that we do this is we just didn't know that there was a difference. It's just really important to know that declaring your goal is different than actually committing to it. The third reason is that you might have set a goal, but you did not set a proper goal. We want your goal to not be too low and to not be too high. And what I have found with high achievers is you are likely swinging from one end of the spectrum to the other. So either you're not setting a goal at all, you're trying to wing the goal setting approach or trying to bypass it completely, or you're someone that is really ambitious with your weight loss goals. You set a goal that is just too high. But when it comes down to doing the work that it takes to hit your goal, it becomes too much. If this has been you, whether it's one or all three of these reasons have applied to your goal setting with weight loss in the past, I want you to know that you're not alone. Goal setting can sometimes feel a little bit vulnerable. It can feel a little scary. The idea of setting a goal and then like, what if we don't make it sets us up for preemptive disappointment, which is another reason we don't set goals. So I want you to know if you have not set a clear and proper goal in the past, it's okay. You might just not have known the value and the significance and the importance of setting a goal before you actually create your fat burning action plan. Today's tiny but mighty concept and the intention of today's minisode is just to show you that this is a step that should not be skipped, it should not be missed, and it's essential, essential to guarantee your success on the scale this year. It's so important that it is the first thing that we do together in the Unstoppable Group. When I meet my clients for our very first coaching call, before we even talk about creating your custom fat burning action plan, which is the second step of our process, I help my clients create and choose a specific goal that really fits into their life. I call it setting your it's done goal. When you have a clear process on how to choose your weekly goal, you're setting yourself up for so much success in the journey because you have clear direction on where you're going. Truly, this is not a hard process when you know exactly what to do. Having a coach and having a group that knows the common pitfalls that working moms have is essential so that you stop wasting time. One of the things that I've been sharing a lot with all of you as I've been inviting you to join the Unstoppable Group is that working together is not what guarantees your success. Working together when you show up to the process will collapse the timeline on your success. We will together really catch your blind spots, including setting proper goals and what you do on a random week when you don't hit it. What I have found with my clients, they have shared it on this podcast before, is when you know how to set a proper it's done goal, you start blowing your goals out of the water, which means you start surpassing your goals week after week, which seriously makes weight loss so much more fun. The other part that's really valuable that I really love about the Unstoppable Group is in the written coaching cafe that we have, which is our members only space where you get coached on any obstacles that are coming up. We dive into this specific topic. I was just coaching my client on this topic. She was sharing how she had set a weekly goal, but she didn't follow through and she, we were trying to unravel why she didn't follow through that week. And it turned out, 
out that reason number two came up for her. She declared her goal. She felt good about her goal, but she didn't take the extra step of actually committing to it. Now, if that feels vague to you, like, but how do I commit to a goal? Don't worry. This is exactly what I teach you how to do step by step in our work together. And it is part of the process that truly will guarantee your success. I hope today's tiny but mighty concept really shed some light on the importance and the value of goal setting with, spe with specificity. And if you have found yourself either winging it or hiding from goal setting, take a pause and really remind yourself when you set goals, you're giving yourself clear direction, just like Alice asking the Cheshire cat. If she had told the Cheshire cat, I know exactly where I want to go, she would have been able to choose a road and a pathway that would have gotten her there faster. She would have collapsed the timeline on hating her goal, which is reaching home or finding the white rabbit. So I hope you all enjoyed today's mini-sode. And if you know that this is the work you want support in, I am here to help coach you. If you know you love this, I want to see you in the Unstoppable group. Head on over to the unstoppablemombrain.com forward slash group to learn exactly how to join me because doors are closing soon. Bye.